Hello everybody. Good afternoon. Happy Friday. Well, we missed you all last week. How are you all? How have you been over the last two weeks? I'm just going to quickly refresh my page. So we missed you last week. It felt very strange not to be doing a live. After five months of doing lives every Friday, it did feel very strange not to be running around getting things ready, didn't it? And not making it cocktails. Did. And uh, so I'm just refreshing my page. Do say hello if you're there. I hope people have uh, hope people enjoyed this afternoon. I know it's uh, different times. So yeah, say hello if you if you're there. Let me know what you've been up to the last couple of weeks. We've had a bit of a busy time. Uh, it's been a bit crazy. Uh, reopening the studio, lots of workshops going on, lots of sew alongs as well. So lots going on. The crafty camper van says hello on Instagram. Oh, hello. Do you know who that is? I don't know who that is. Who's that? We only get Instagram names. Yeah, we only Instagram. get Instagram names if I don't know your uh, if I don't know your names. Oh, hi Janet. Thank you very much. This is the uh, Starlark uh, Mila dress that we made on the sew along. So it's nice to start wearing hi, some Janet. summer clothes. Hi Susan. Oh, hi Susan. Hi Barbara. Hello Barbara. It, isn't it lovely weather to start the bank holiday weekend? It's quite warm today, so I thought I'd better put a summer dress on. I felt a bit wintry in my long sleeves yesterday. Crafty camper van is Lou. Oh, hi Lou. And Julie Morris is here, so hi, on Instagram. Julie and, and Phil's here on Facebook. Hi Phil. Hi Phil. Oh, thanks for joining us everyone. It's so nice to be back. To say hello, find out what you've all been up to. So we did, we carried on with our sew alongs last week. We had uh, we've had the couture jacket. So ladies oh, making jackets. Oh, Joe's here on Insta. Hi Joe. Hi, jo. hi Carolyn. Hi Carolyn. Well. Um, yes, we've had so long couture jacket. The mirror, we finished our mirror jumpsuit. So we're very happy with the mirror jumpsuit. That's the paper cut patterns jumpsuit with the twist front. Oh, hi Catherine. <laughs> so she'll what? Yeah, Catherine's got to leave early. Normally, Catherine wants to do a lunch break. <laughs> She's got to leave at six. Oh, Thanks yeah. for joining us, though, Catherine. Hi, Suzanne. Disaster cutting the lining for your sleeves. Oh no. Oh, no. She's ordered some more. Oh, oh, hi Justine. Oh, so um, Justine's been to the Fashion Textile Museum. That's the um, the chintz exhibition, isn't there? Was it really good? Was it good, Justine? Oh, you did. Oh, you did a course there as well. Do a copy your clothes day. Catherine has to Lovely. leave at six. So we'll watch us on catch up. Oh, you've already done that. that. Oh, I yeah, scrolled back too far. Me. I scrolled back too far. <laughs> Hi, Debbie. What's Debbie? Just oh, just <laughs> Debbie. Debbie has been doing the uh, sew along for the half slip. Has had bad internet and all sorts of things, haven't you? Oh, Lou is saying hi oh, to Linda good. on Instagram. Um, uh, hi, Sally. De poor Debbie's machine. Her Tom's in a machine, didn't you, Debbie? So hopefully that will get fixed soon. Hi, Sally. Sally came to the sewing room to the couture skirt with us last weekend. It's been so lovely um, to uh, so lovely to have you back here in the sewing room. Ruth saying hi on Instagram. Hi, Ruth. Nice to see you. And oh, Susan said she's tried on her jumpsuit and just, it fits really well. I was really pleased with the fit, Susan, with mine actually. Yeah, because I, I normally have to rate, adjust the rise on it, on trousers and things, but I, for the measurements, it didn't look like I had to. So I thought, well, I'll go with it. Uh, and it fits really well. I'm really pleased with it. So that's a great one. So now we've got this nice weather, we can start wearing all these summer clothes that we've made. Yeah, it's been great to see some of you back here in the sewing room this week. It's been really exciting. We did couture skirt, three day couture skirt workshop last weekend, which was fun. Hello, Charlie. Oh, hi, Charlie. You can, you can join us now, we're doing later in the day because it's after work. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. And Barbara's saying her movie jumpsuit's really good as well. Yeah, we look forward to seeing lots of pictures of those. It's a great jumpsuit. Really, really good. Really flattering. So that was, yeah, so that was the, our sew alongs. Sorry, I keep, I'm just going to look over there because the comments are coming. You can see your hair. Oh, hi, Tanya. She said she missed us last week. Oh, hi, Tanya. Yeah, it was really strange last Friday. It was weird. We, we were thought, wandering oh. around, weren't we, and yeah. here going, oh. Shall I, I make know. a cocktail? Yeah. I don't know. We well, set up the cameras and put the charges <laughs> <Yeah>. on. And <laughs> Hi Maggie. Hi Maggie, how are you? Nice these lovely light evenings now, isn't it? We've actually been getting home after the sew alongs in the daylight. Oh, and Suzanne lost her movie jumpsuit as well. 
very successful. That was a nice, it was a nice make, a nice pattern as well. So here in the sewing room, we've had, I said, we had the couture skirt last week, and we also had our skirts made simple. We've also done work with interfacing and seams and hems workshops. Um, and it was the end of our dressmakers portfolio this week. Well, it actually would have finished in March uh, because we were in lockdown. So we, uh, we'd have done lots of uh, weekly tutorials and kept in touch and lots of the ladies did sew alongs. And you would have seen some pictures go up on uh, Facebook and Instagram this week. So Margaret, Jean, uh, Madeline and Barbara, well, my four ladies on the portfolio. And we had, it was so lovely. We had our final day on Tuesday uh, and they bought all of their, um, all of their lovely um, garments in. So we'd look at them and have a chat, and then we had lunch, and they bought me this lovely vase. You probably see that behind me with the flowers in. You can't see it on Facebook, oh, on Facebook. you can on Insta. There it's, it is. There it is. It's a lovely <laughs> vase with some roses and peonies. So it's, it, was, it was a lovely day. It was really nice to catch up because normally on the portfolio we see each other all the time, uh, and the ladies have a key for the sewing room so they can come in and work together here when there's no workshops. And of course, it was a bit different this year, but we still had a lovely time, and they produced wonderful clothes. So they should be really proud of themselves. So our portfolio next year starts in October, I think it is. So fancy six months of sewing with me. Have a look. So yeah, it was lovely. It was a really lovely day on Tuesday. So it's been something going on every day this week. It's been really great, really great. And I've been keeping an eye on what you've been up to. There's been a few lovely things coming up on the Midhurst Sewers page. Um, what we're looking at, Mary made a lovely long waistcoat. Suzanne's been making a Tudor fancy dress costume and fixing a monkey, I saw that as well mm -hmm. as making lovely dresses as well. I don't know how you've managed it, Suzanne, with coming over to England and going back and making a couture jacket as well in between. And what else? Oh, Sally posted a picture of her lovely Hepburn shirt waster. That was from one of the sew-alongs we did a couple of weeks ago. Beautiful pink floral um, Hepburn shirt waster, as well as a really nice um, uh, Starlark Hope dress. Both lovely dresses, Sally. I'm looking forward to seeing Sally next weekend on our vintage sewing weekend. Uh, what else have I been noticed? Justine. Oh, Justine, we need to know how you're getting on with your matching pairs of dungarees. We kept seeing the progress of the pockets and the zips. Very intrigued. Yes, and we haven't seen them. We're on the edge of our seat, Yes, Justine. we want to know what's going on with those. <laughs> <laughs> so what else have you been up to, everybody? Now you've been able to get out a bit more and, and go to the shops and do things. Go to restaurants. Go to restaurants. We, we went out on Tuesday night, didn't we? Well, you've been out, Amy's been out a few times, actually. Yeah, I have. I was out immediately. Yeah, straight away. <laughs> <laughs> well, you wanted to get an excuse to get dressed up. You can wear some exactly. nice clothes. Hi, Claire. Oh. Emergency hemming a pair of work shorts. Oh. <laughs> it's nice been to see there. you, Claire. <laughs> oh, there. thanks for joining us, Claire. It's nice to see you. <laughs> Suzanne, she doesn't know how it happens either. <laughs> Oh, awesome. oh, hi Jilly. So let me know if I can help at all, Suzanne, with your lining. Oh, hi Jilly, how are you? Yes, we're here. We're here. We're here. <laughs> <laughs> Just trying to catch up with what you've all been up to. I think there's a few nice things we could all get up to, actually. I mentioned, I think I put a post on the Claire's Rose page earlier about a couple of exhibitions which look really good, apart from the uh, Chintz exhibition at the Fashion and Textile Museum. There's the Alice. Curiouser and Curiouser exhibition at the V&A, which has just opened. Is that difficult to say? Yes, it was. I had to, <laughs> stop. I had to stop and say it very carefully. <laughs> I looked at you as you said it. I was like, concentrated. Yeah, curiouser very good. And very curiouser. good. <laughs> which they look back of 150 years, 157 years of Alice in Wonderland and all the different twists and turns it's taken and uh, some of the influences you might see in fashion as well. So that's at the V&A. It's actually on to the end of December, so we've got a bit of time to go and see that. Well, I might, as soon as I can, probably go and see that. And also, um, Janet posted um, a link to an exhibition at the, which is at the Guildhall Art Gallery, uh, which is um, Noel Coward's um, Art and Style exhibition. And that's a look at how um, his work has influenced um, uh, fashion and culture. So that looks really interesting as well. So a couple of good exhibitions. Julie says she's been looking at burrito demos on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> I was very impressed. I'll talk about sewing bean in a minute, but I was impressed to see the yeah, burrito that, bean done on sewing bean this week. We use that a lot here. Yeah, we do. Have I, have I, done, a, I think I've done a burrito demonstration on YouTube, have we? We'll have to do that. Yeah. Maybe we could do that on a live, actually. We, we could. could do that. Yeah. A mini one. A little mini burrito, half scale. We could do that. So, a couple of exhibitions to go to. What else have we got to tell yeah, you about? Yeah, definitely half scale. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> you'll be here all day. Yeah, I'm just going to make a shirt on the live. Yeah. <laughs> Giving away all your tips. Yeah. I don't mind doing it for each other. I love doing burritos. It's a really good way. You can do, I was going to say, sleepy stresses. You can do sideways burritos. Yeah. We'll talk about that another Moving time. on. Moving on. Moving on. <laughs> what else have I got to tell you about? We're, um... I also posted about, um, as you know, we love working with Linton on our Couture workshop, the, a collaboration between Linton and Karen Millen, um, which was produced some really interesting garments, just to get inspiration. I don't know what I would buy any particularly, um, but they are really good for inspiration. Have a look at the Karen Millen site and look at the, I did put a link on um, the Claire's Fresh page of last week, I think it was. They've done some really interesting garments with Linton and they've used things like the cuffing that you would normally put on the bottom of bomber jackets across the sleeves and, and also some patchwork as well with Linton and it looks great. So have a look at that if you're looking for some inspiration and you've got some smaller pieces of Linton tweed or other tweeds are available obviously. <laughs> we like Linton. Well, there's not really. We like Linton. <laughs> Just a few things I've been sharing um, on the... Uh, on the, on the Facebook page recently. And we've got lots coming up. Hi, okay. Nan. Oh, hi, Mum. <laughs> Mum remembered to watch us today. Yeah, nice to see you. <laughs> Thanks for watching us. Uh, Ruth says she uses the burrito method when I make knickers. Oh, yes, you do when you put when oh, you do the gusset. You'll love that. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> of course. You do a completely enclosed gusset. Please you use could remind me which shell top uh, pattern is closest to the one used on the sewing bee. Uh, there's a new look pattern actually. I can't remember the number. We'll post it later. There's a new look uh, shell top pattern which is very similar to the one we're sewing bee. That was from Jilly. Oh, hi Jilly. I will make a note of that. But there is, yes, a new look one. Oh, yes, I've just seen that over there. It's okay, I can tell you the comments. You don't have Thank to you. look. I can look over there. You can just okay. keep looking at the people on there. <laughs> <laughs> I have to look down at my notes because there's so much stuff to talk about. There is. Lots of things. So workshops coming up here in June. If you'd like to come and see us in the sewing room, we've got lots coming up and there are a few spaces. We're doing um, uh, Monday evening classes, a couple of portfolio classes, essential dressmaking, zips, pockets, fancy coming and doing a Monday afternoon here. Uh, and also there's a make a kimono, kimono style jacket, so I should say kimono style jacket. Oh, Janet says the flowers are beautiful and oh. Jo Jo is here. Oh, hi Jo. jo. The other Jo. Is here Are you saying, in the country at the moment, Jo? She says she's missed the Zoom classes, can't wait to make her dress later this month. Oh, lovely. Are you, I mean, where you are at the moment, are you in the country? Did you manage to get over to Mallorca? Um, yes, yeah, so we've got, and we've got fitness wear. Make a few fancy, if you feel like you've got a few pounds on and you want to get back to the gym, make yourself some fancy fitness wear. We've got a workshop doing that as well. And Copy It, Make It, which is one of our very popular classes where you can wriggle on a garment um, that you that you love that maybe is a bit worn out or you've changed sizes and I can show you how to copy it without taking it apart. So that's our workshops um, here in the sewing room coming up. Oh hi Jill, thanks for joining us. Hi Jill. We're just catching up with what everyone's been up to this week. What have you been up to? Been doing some sewing? I did some sewing this week. In fact I did some sewing today. You did. Mum actually did a workshop. I did a workshop. The lovely Sue Cotton. Attended somebody I did, else's I workshop. did. We have the lovely Sue mm -hmm. Cotton here in the workshop in the sewing room today. And she was teaching how to make this lovely utility apron. So I made this today. There we go. There we go. There we go. So what I made today, utility apron. So keep all my uh, my tools in. So now those of you that do the, do the sew alongs with me will know that I have no excuse now losing my tape measure because it's there and my glow and my reading glasses for threading needles so it's a, it was a great workshop we had real good fun to show the flap oh yes it's got it's got a little pocket under here as well look and i used a contrast fabric it's got pocket welt pockets we did top stitching that's the back of it that fabric's very nice yeah I've got a lampshade in that. Fabric. I know, I think it's, I think it's, your, I think it's your fabric. <laughs> it was my fabric for it's making off cut. Making lampshade. It's a little off cut and it's got a little pocket there and you can keep all your sewing tools, but you could also make it for the garden as well. Perfect for off cuts, that yeah, person, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It was, um, it was a really fun workshop. Margaret came and joined us as well. So Margaret might join us at the end if she makes it home in time. <laughs> and Sue as well. Sue's headed off as well now. Suzanne says she loves it. Janet mm. says wonderful. It's great, isn't it? I really enjoyed it. I didn't 
really enjoyed making something a bit different today and it's got these clasps on it i just haven't stitched those because i wasn't sure what size i wanted it on my waist or on my hips yet i haven't decided barbara says so. it looks really fab thank you thank you we'll post some pictures of the other ones that are made today as well so it was a really fun workshop and if people want us to run it again just let us know we'll run it again so that was my little sewing adventure today i did feel guilty i felt like i should be doing more work because we're, we're yeah. obviously we're doing um Oh, Barbara's making the bag oh, next yeah. week. Oh, yes, if you'd like to do a workshop, with another workshop with Sue. Sue tends to do our bag workshops, and uh, she's a bit really good at making bags. Accessories. And things. accessories. And there's a, the project bag, which you can see behind me here, is next Friday. Um, so that's a, that's a really useful bag. You can actually pull it out. It's, it looks like it's a triangle. Do you want to get it? Show. Yeah, I have to grab it. This is, um, this is the project bag. Barbara's making this with Sue, with a couple of other ladies. You can make it in all matching fabric or you can make it in contrast fabrics, but it's actually is um, a rectangle tote bag like this. And it's got pocket inside, fully lined. And then it has these poppers at the sides. So you can have it as a big rectangle like this, or you can pop these things together here. And it just makes it stay together. Lovely dress, yeah. Claire, Jilly says. Ah, oh, thank you, Jilly. And it's got feet on it as well. And Sue has all this hardware for you. So if you fancy making a bag with Sue, that's next Friday here in the sewing room. This is the um, Starlark Mila dress um, that I'm wearing today. And it's just made in some Rebecca linen from Bloomsbury Square. It's a really nice make, actually. We did it as a sew along a few weeks ago. Months ago. Months ago. That was Gosh. way back. That was one of the first ones. It was, ones. wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it was. Like Jan or Feb we did that. Yeah, so I finally feel like I can wear it now, now that it's nice and sunny. Yeah, we're making all those summer dresses in the middle of winter. Yeah, it's a good bag, yeah, good for going shopping. Good for shopping good for, at exhibitions, yeah, Tanya exhibitions, says. exhibitions, yes, especially if you're going to Thread next month, in a couple of weeks' time. Yeah, quick, make yourself a shopping bin. Yeah, Thread exhibition. Um, are you wearing your Mila dress? You look I lovely. Am. I like yes. that bag. Thank you. Well, you're in the country next week, Suzanne. You could always come yeah, and make one. Yeah, come and make one, Suzanne. <laughs> <laughs> They're good stash busters, that, the bags, because you can actually make it with um, different fabrics. I think Sue used the goth cuts for making this one from her. Yeah, you can use all different bits for making it, and you can make the handles from different colours, off cuts of lining. So yeah, if you're around in a couple of weeks, Farm and Malting Thread Festival, we're going to have a stand. I know we've mentioned that before, but do come and see us. Um, if you are wanting to come to Thread Festival, you will need to book a timed entry. Um, so you can't just book a ticket and come at any time. You have to book a timed entry. Um, so, oh, sorry. And he's just throwing it <laughs> That was a rubbish throw. So, so there Ooh. we go. It's on the Saturday the 12th and Sunday the 13th of um, June, 9 till 4. Each Friday day. is half term with the kiddies. It's half term. Oh, of course. I remember you saying that actually, Suzanne. Yeah, you're spending time with, the, with your grandchildren. So yeah, come along to Thread Festival. It's going to be great fun. Um, and you, you just have to um, book your timed entry tickets. And if you do, come and say hello. Because it'd be lovely to see you. That's what's so nice that this last couple of weeks, actually seeing people in person. Yeah, it's bizarre. Actually. Yeah, it's so been... I know we've seen everybody on sew alongs, haven't we? And um, but to see people coming for sew has been so nice. Really nice. What else have I got to tell you about? Let me have a look through my list. Oh, we've got a new sew along coming up. Um, if you've been looking at some of the pictures the for the ladies of the dressmakers portfolio, one of the tops that we really loved was Jean's um, top, which is the Sadie tunic. This one here. And we've been talked a lot about how we're so short of tops. So we thought I thought we'd do this one as sew along. It's a really nice um, tunic with a sort of twist on the sleeve that Amy's going to. Bring it in a bit for you. There you go. You can see it's got the origami sleeve. Yes, yeah, so it's got a little bit of detail. So I thought we'd do that as a, a day sew along, 28th of July. If you fancy doing that as a sew along um, with me, because I'd really like to make it, so I thought it'd be nice for us to make it together. So I'm very short of tops. Need to make a few more, so I will um, think about uh, adding some more tops as workshops and as sew alongs as well. So that's one more thing we've got coming up. Um, what else have I got to tell you? Oh, we've got a new date for our open day. Mm -hmm. um, we 
our open day, which we have for the dressmakers portfolio um, ladies, they can exhibit all their lovely clothes they've made. You can come along and see what's been going on here, what they've all been making, have a look around the sewing room. Uh, and this year we had planned to have our open day on the 10th of July. But uh, then we realised that the Festival of Speed is happening this year and um, that's going to happen on that weekend as well. And for any of you that live locally, you will know that uh, when the Festival of Speed goes on, you can't move around this area. <laughs> you, really, you really don't want to be going out unless you absolutely have to. So we thought we would change our open date to the week before. So it's going to be on the 3rd of July. So we will change that on the website. Anyone... It's changed already. Yeah. But... So if you are SVP'd on the website, you should have had a notification, but... Yeah, I will um, send a, a newsletter out as well about that. Yeah, so that we'll you know. post it on socials as well. So, so hopefully you, know. you can still make it. Yeah, so I hope you can still come along. But it's you probably wouldn't be able to make it if you attempted on <laughs> yes. the 10th, because you, you can't get anywhere near... Yeah. It's, uh, it's I mean, it takes us three hours, doesn't it, instead of half an hour yeah, to get it's, here. It's crazy. We, we talk, try and take diversions all around the place, and every road is, is blocked, and then you think, well... Whenever you want to go home, it's all blocked again. So really, we tend to not go out that weekend, unless we're going to Festival Speed, of course. Well, we, yeah, I'm going but, uh, yeah, <laughs> the day before. Yeah, on Friday. But yeah, so we've changed our open date to the 3rd of July. So I really hope you can still make it. Come along and see us and see what the Dressmakers Portfolio ladies have been making. Lots for you to see. And of course, there'll be tea and cake. Of course. Of course. And Nan's cheese scones. Yes, Nan, Mum's making cheese scones. They're always very popular. Very. She makes um, gluten-free ones and non-gluten-free ones as well. Very excited about that. So, yeah. Sorry, Mum, we've said it. We've said it publicly now. So. Yeah. And sorry, we didn't tell you the date had changed, but yeah, the date's changed. Yeah. <laughs> Charlie, did you know that Worthing Museum claims to have one of the largest costume and textile displays in the country? Yes, Charlie, I did actually. We were just talking about that on the class today because they do uh, sometimes lit groups go in and have a little look, but at the moment you have to make appointments. So, Tanya oh, said cheese scones are her favourite. Lovely, Tanya will be here then. Well, my <laughs> nan's cheese scones are like award winning within our, within our family. Oh, no pressure, Mum. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Charlie. We will be. We are hoping to take a group down to Worthing Museum um, when they are reopening for groups again, which will be lovely because they do actually let you go in and have a real close look at their some of their costumes. So it's amazing, just on the road. Barbara said, "Have you put the new sew along up yet, Claire?" The oh, top. I have. I did put it up. I thought I put it up. If not, uh -oh. I'll have a quick look. I, I did think I did it this afternoon. Maybe it didn't go up. Uh, if not, I will put it up straight after the live, Barbara. Maybe you didn't click save. Maybe I didn't click save. Yes, I was a bit distracted today. Oh, Janet said she's just RSVP to the open day. Hooray! Oh, the first Still day says, goes to the 10th. Oh. oh, I might need to change that. Thank you, the Janet. The invite day has been changed. Oh, okay. Thanks, Janet. That's good to know. I'll go and change oh, that. Oh, Janet said she has seen the sew along is there. Oh. I just did it today. Oh, that's good. I thought I did do it. I think I'm going mad sometimes. We've been so busy and, you know, with all the things that are changing, I, I'm really worried that I'm going to make a mistake or not. I did make one mistake this week. I workshopped on Thursday this week making a skirt and I sent an email out saying, I'm looking forward to seeing you on Friday. And that would have been a big yeah, mistake. I didn't realise the day before, but luckily all the lovely ladies already had the date in their diary, so <laughs> it came on the right day. So, yeah, with all the changes backwards and forwards, there may be a few little things that happen like that. But Classes quite... have moved so many times, though. You've yeah. often had to move a class two or three times. Well, the one that we did today, this utility apron, we've moved twice. Yeah. So it was good to actually do it today, really. So it was good fun, really good fun. So so that's all. Um, I'm keen to make that uh, top. How strange, not reach my internet yet, Barbara yes. said. I will keep refreshing, yeah, Barbara. Keep refreshing it, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it'll be a great top to make, actually. You'll see on, um, Jean made two of them, into one in a plain bag, one in a check, and it looked so good. They look lovely. So we thought, yes, I'd like to make one. Let's do it together. Uh, so I've got a few things to show you today. Oh, is it demo time? Oh, I don't know. I should think of what else. Oh, no, we haven't done sewing bee. Oh, no, I knew there was something else. So TV, oh. talking about TV, there's been a few things um, happening on TV. Hold on a sec. What's oh, Claire said name? she's gone to my favourite with a slice of cheese on the side. <laughs> Oh, but her niece is getting married that day. Oh, so sorry, you won't make it clear. No you're coming to the garden party, yeah, I see, Claire. Yeah, garden party, yeah. And also, lovely um, Helen Lord uh, booked tickets today, and she's she was on the same retreat as you, Claire, so um, that's it's lovely. It's going to be like reunion. It is. Jean, the new, the new so long is under the online workshop area. Oh. 
Uh, yes. Tanya, yeah, where yeah. are the open day details on the website, please? On the events page. On the events page. And click yeah. through. Yeah. You click through from the events page. Then you can RSVP. Yeah. It's always nice to know. Yeah. Isn't open it? day and garden party details are yeah. on there. So, yes, yeah, so TV. I did mention recently about um, uh, TV that I've been watching. One of them was Holston. Which, oh. which is amazing, which is about American um, fashion designer Halston. So um, good. Which I did, didn't really know much about him, but we do now. You and McGregor. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. You and McGregor plays Halston, and a lot of a lot of the fashion is sort of nineteen seventies, but it starts off with Halston's first um, first fashion pro um, success, which was designing the hat for Jackie Kennedy for the inauguration. So if you're interested, in, it's, it's fantastic. It's not for the faint-hearted. It's no, it's a bit racy. It's a basis. bit racy. A bit, also, there's a lot of drugs and alcohol. Yeah, but it's really good and it's it's a it's a um a moment in time, isn't it? It's yeah, a in time. it's amazing. Yeah, really great, yeah. really well made. Janet watched it, and I it's, it, uh, be prepared to watch one and then want to watch them all. Oh God, it was awful. I did yeah. the same as you, Janet. Janet had messaged to say that she would watched three in a row, and I did yeah. the same thing. Mm. And I started watching it at eleven p.m. So by two in the morning, I had to force myself. You have to switch it off in the middle of an episode, I That's, discovered. That was a good tip, actually. Yeah, switch it off in the middle of an episode if you're getting tired, because if you watch it to the end, yeah. you'll end up having to watch the next episode. watch the next one, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but yeah, it was, it was good, and, and, uh, and a good, um, some great fashion, some great insights. Yeah, Suzanne said it was great. Mm. Yeah, really good. I mean, Ewan McGregor learned, to, he, he, he learned from the costume designer um, who was doing the programme, he learned how to do... Um, some of the sewing and draping. He actually made a pair of trousers, Whoa. which he sent to the, the uh, fashion, the, the fashion um, costume designer for Holston. Amazing. He said, "Look what I've done." Um, yeah, so it was great. Really good to see. Really good to see that. So that was great. And of course, we, I'm not going to talk too much about the Friends reunion program from last night because I haven't watched you it. You haven't watched it yet, but I did watch it because I yes. couldn't wait, and Friends I reunion cried. I cried from the minute it came on and laughed hysterically, cried hysterically, it was great. Yeah, so anyone that hasn't, this. that is a Friends fan and hasn't seen the Friends reunion, um, it's on Sky, Now TV, HBO, Yeah, I'm gonna watch it tonight. Yeah, oh, Claire says so she's gonna watch it on Sunday because she's got her second vaccine on Saturday. <gasps> I've got my first one on Monday. Yeah, Amy's managed to book her first vaccine. So excited. It is exciting. Janet's been watching Emily in Paris, light-hearted fluff, but yeah. the clothes. Yeah, the, um, the costume designer for Emily in Paris is the same as Sex in the City. Yeah. It's the same costume designer, I can't remember her name. Which is very sad because actually she's now not going to be doing the Sex in the City reboot because she's working oh. on Emily in Paris too. Oh really? So they've got a different costume designer for the Sex in the yeah, City I've heard reboot. Mixed reviews. mixed reviews about Emily in Paris. I well the story's a bit like like rubbish. Fluff, as yeah, Jack it's says. rubbish. <laughs> it's nothing compared to the bold type, but the yeah. costumes are great. Yeah, that's the other one. Did we talk about the last one? I time don't the know, bold the type? bold type. Brilliant fashion, brilliant yes. storylines. There's about online. five series, so you've got loads of watching. Yeah, on Netflix, The Bold Type is well really worth watching. It's about um, a, a magazine it's based on Cosmopolitan. It is, and the previous editor in chief of Cosmopolitan is on the producing team, mm -hmm. so it's based about it's around her. So it's so quite if you're looking true. For something else to watch. True to reality. You, yeah, a bit better than Emily in Paris. Yes. That's what I've heard. It's, but it's the fashion great. in Emily in Paris was good. Yeah, I haven't watched it yet because I kept hearing about it. Not yeah, brilliant. it's worth it for the fashion. And the shots of Paris. Yes, of course. There's that. Yeah, of course. So because we can't talk about TV without talking about the sewing bee, we've got two weeks of sewing bee to chat about. Uh, Catherine says she's got to go. Could you please say how not to overstretch the elastic on my slip? There is no stretch left, so I have a tube. Did you um, cut your elastic too big in the first place, Catherine? That's what I thought might have happened. I'll have to have a look. But yeah, I'll get back to you on that, Catherine. Because I, I, I just thought maybe it's because we didn't we didn't pull the elastic tight enough when we cut it last night. But anyway, we'll have, I'll have a chat about chat with you about that later. But you shouldn't be able to overstretch it because you're only you're only pulling the fabric out. So. Anyway, that's for people who were doing the half slip last night. Sorry about that. Oh, <laughs> Janet, I don't have any of those channels. I have the box set of Friends. I've been to Friends Fest and you're going again in June. Oh. oh, you don't have Sky or Now TV. Maybe you could sign up to a free trial of Now TV for 30 days, cancel it, just so you can watch it. Yes, that do that, Janet. If you like Friends, you'll yeah, love it. You have yeah, to watch it. It's it. for every Friends fan. So, yeah, just sign up to Now TV on a free trial. Mm. 
and then you can just cancel it after 30 days or before 30 days. <laughs> yeah. So two weeks of sewing bee. We've got to catch up. We've got to catch up. So what have you been? What have you been thinking? Well, Janet says good idea. <laughs> <laughs> it's worth it, Janet. It's worth it. Oh, I'll have a, I'll have a think about that, Phil. I can't quite work out why that would have happened, but I will get back to you on that one. Um. Yeah. So sewing bee. <laughs> sewing bee. Two weeks of sewing bee. So the one not last week, the one we missed last week, was the recycling one, wasn't it? The recycling was it recycling? Yeah, the recycle, yeah. remake, re. Yes, the lovely. I can't yeah. remember what the three words are. Yes, that's the one. But yes, the reuse, recycle, something. That's the one. Um, remake. Very good. Yeah. yeah, that was really good actually. I didn't mm. think I would enjoy it, but it they did it really well. Particularly the denim, the final. Oh, Raph's denim yeah. dress was fantastic. Mm. Oh, all of the denim creations were great actually. Yeah. We thought they were all good, didn't mm. we? Um, Adina Park, and even Adina. Hers wasn't terrible. It was no. just not as great not as, as the great. other ones. Yeah. Not as great. Uh, but Raph's, amazing. Um, Suzanne yeah. was surprised that Andrew left this week, given Farry's failures. Yeah, I yeah, know. He close. just had a bad... It can all come down to a bad garment yeah. um, made to measure. But when you think about his previous made to measures, haven't been brilliant, have they? Well, this them? is what Patrick said, didn't he? The, yeah. the very middle of the, he's very middle of the road. Yeah. He's never been that mm. right up the top. But he's, yeah. Yeah, whereas Farry has had a couple of garment of the weeks. Mm. So it's tricky. It's getting tight, isn't it, really? I think it's they have tight. to, at this point, look back over all their makes, don't they, when as it's well? Close. When yeah. it's really close. Yeah. Because it was close this week. It was. It was. What did we think about this week, then? What did we think about Raph's final dress? I thought it was so pretty. That was a new look pattern. Is it? With it's the a new look pattern, yeah. Somebody posted it on Facebook. Oh. Yeah, new look pattern. Or That's simplicity, or simplicity. It was one of the. It definitely wasn't Vogue, Buttrick, or McCall. So it must have been mm. new look or simplicity. But I yeah. think it was new look. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, and he's used a couple of new look in the past. Actually. Yeah. Really good. But yeah, it was cute. Mm. Yeah. It was cute, cute. and I, but I really liked. Um, I like Rebecca's. I thought with the lace. Oh, that was, was my lovely. favorite actually. That was, I think, my favorite. Mm. I'm definitely going to get some lovely embroidered tulle now. Mm. With some really bright pretty, satin. Using the border on the edge as well. Uh, Farry pulled it back. Yeah, she did. Loved Andrew's challenge outfit. Yeah, that was good, wasn't it? it was the challenge. Good. What was the challenge? It was um, scarves. Oh, yeah. It was the oh, yeah. Week, wasn't it? Andrew's was fun. Yeah. Um, but Farry's was nicer. I liked Farry's. Yeah, Farry's was amazing. It was almost it's wearable, which is unusual for a transformation challenge. Yeah, I it? actually said I would wear that. Mm. Farry's transformation challenge I would have worn. Yeah. Um, Suzanne, I thought Rebecca did well. Yeah, Rebecca did do well this yeah, week. She's she suddenly did. come out of herself, yeah. hasn't she? Because she's a bit of another one that's been sitting in the middle. Definitely, yeah. That dress was great. Dress. Raph's dress was just fab. Not finishing her skirt and her two simple scarf dress just should have meant she had to go. Yeah, the shirt, I was really, we were worried about Raph this week, actually. Oh, yeah, but, uh, no, Farry's scarf dress was one. Farry's scarf dress was really good. Yeah, it was nice, wasn't it? Uh, Serena should have underlined, not interface. Quite right, Susan. Exactly, yes. Susan. Trouble is, it would take so much longer, wouldn't it? Well, you, could have, in, you could have underlined, you could have done it on the machine. You could have done. Mm, like, you could have you? done machine but tacking yeah. underlining. Probably it would have been, but actually, she had, she'd block interface before she came so whether she could have done some preparation beforehand mm. i think it might have been to do with the type of interface she used as well yeah it might have been one of those papery ones yeah. uh claire said damien's cockiness is driving me nuts oh, me I too know. i know me too, claire. it's really frustrating when he does a really good dress it's annoying it? it's i like, keep wanting him to mess up every week <laughs> what do we think? Just not. what did we think of damien's dress very sexy wasn't it I didn't think it was a party dress yeah i don't I think, it was more like a work dress yeah it was a bit it was yeah, it was really odd, wasn't it? Making with that wool rather than going for a tricky fabric, which I thought was. I mean, the he made it very well, but yeah. it definitely wasn't a party dress. Uh, just because it's winter, that doesn't mean you want to wear tweed to a party. Because mm. you're still indoors, aren't you? Um, yeah, I think they talk about Serena's dress not being so good on the on the, on the transformation challenge, rather than Farrah's. Oh, rather than Farrah's, yeah. yeah, Serena's wasn't good on the transformation. No. Damien's was rubbish on the transformation. Yeah, I, he needs to be. What were those flowers? And... Who wants to wear such a thick party to a fabric? Exactly, Janet. Yeah. And when they were saying that, oh, you need to stay warm at a party, well, yeah. no, you just wear a coat to the party and then you can have a slinky number on underneath. Well made, <laughs> yeah. but not for parties. 
dangerous yeah, it would to be wear. Dangerous. Yeah, without a zip. Can you imagine a load of drunk blokes walking up to you, yes. deciding it'd be funny? <laughs> Funny, not funny. Funny, not funny. Yeah. But, but yeah. Yes, yeah, so it's it's interesting, wasn't it, that I that he didn't really follow the brief. That's probably why he didn't. It's why he didn't win Gone with the week. I know they all yeah, people that's kept true. saying it was stolen, but Ras was a party dress, and I thought that was the brief. So yeah, that's very true. Yeah, yeah. There was some, it was really good fun. I thought some really. So we did we think that it was right that Andrew went. I did probably because he I, has. We yeah. said, didn't we? We were trying to guess who it was going to be. Yeah. And I said Andrew. Mm. Um. But I think that's only because he was the worst of that particular yeah. challenge. We were, were um, worried about Raph, though, at the beginning. In all the series, I don't think anyone has ever said they thought they should be higher up the rankings. It's just not so in B. No, it's Quite not. right, Claire. It's Absolutely. not so in B. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's not... It's he doesn't really get it. It's really frustrating. It's funny. Just, it's funny. Yeah, you wonder, you wonder, is he really like that or is it editing? I think he's really like that. Really like that. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I'll start following you on Instagram to find yeah, out. Yeah, just to see. Just to see. Yeah. But then I don't want to increase him that. You don't want to increase his followers. Give <laughs> him an copy. ego. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I thought it was, uh, yeah, we were worried about Raph with the shirts because it was good to see shirts being made. How they made shirt? How they made those shirts in, what was it, four and three quarter hours, wasn't it? I don't know how they did that. I couldn't have done it. Well, our shirt class here is two days. We yeah. do it in two days and it and it's, you know, lots of... It was of, mean. Yeah, it was. But they did do a burrito, which was good. But to try, I don't know how they got those collars and cuffs and... Yeah. Yeah, Janet says they like to keep the characters as long as possible. Oh, that's true, yes. I do. I wouldn't want him to go much further. Mm -hmm. True. Maybe next week will be... And Barbara says, success, I've booked the style arc Sadie tunic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Barbara. Hooray. Uh, wasn't it the first time we've ever seen someone not finishing a garment to that level yeah, before? Yeah, Barry's shirt. Barry's shirt. Yeah, that yeah. was that's very true, Ginny. I mean, Ruth yeah. says she'd still be pattern matching now. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah I know Barry's was so. Yeah, I mean, it was the bit what she'd done was beautifully done. Yeah, she just didn't do it quick enough. But not finishing. Yeah. yeah, it's getting it's getting tight. Next week's gonna be really interesting. I can't remember what they said they were gonna do next week. But she pulled it back on the other two. Yeah. Um, because she won the, the Janet's booked it too. Janet's booked the so long too. Oh, oh, thank you. Jan, has the Sadie tunic got pockets? No, I don't think it has. It hasn't, but you could. It would look nice with two front pouch pockets. Yeah, you could. If you, it's it's a really um quite a short tunic, Jan. So and it's got the sort of shaped bottom. But you could make it straight across and put pockets in. I don't see why not. Uh, Jill so. says, I think there's a lot we do not see. Yeah, absolutely. I think so as well, Jill. Absolutely. So, yes, there's no pockets in it, Jan, but I don't see why not. She did have a hole in her dress. <laughs> I know. It's all getting... Oh, yeah, yeah, she did it's have getting a hole in Okay, in, yeah. people aren't liking Fowry. <laughs> I'm oh, getting this sweet. one. <laughs> she's very sweet. She's lovely. But, um, yeah, she didn't finish her shirt and there was a hole in her final dress. Quite right. Quite right. Yes. Quite but right. But she came first in the transformation. Andrew's final dress was not good. And he was third and fourth or something in the other two, so mm. he wasn't that great. I think it was the fact that he tried to win Esme with a bow and the bow didn't work. <laughs> well, the bow fell off. <laughs> <laughs> Most people say, if I put a bow on it, Esme's going to like it, but no, it didn't work with that. Yeah. It really didn't work with it. Interesting to see Patrick get genuinely tetchy. What was that bit? I can't remember him getting tetchy. She tries too hard. Barry tries too hard. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, we've misread Barry, man. Yeah, we obviously have. We're going to go back and watch it again. We quite liked her. <laughs> <laughs> we were so well, we busy not liking Damien, we didn't yeah. realise that Barry was really annoying. <laughs> um, actually, we have to just talk about Joe as well, don't we? Oh How my funny Lord. is Joe? Do you just find yourself laughing out loud? He I was, was crying with laughter. Whatever he did, he did something where he crawled along the floor or something. I can't remember what he did. He was doing, he was doing he did uh, something kind very of blood or something with the scarves, wasn't he? It was so... Oh, God, when he had all the scarves on. Yeah. So, so funny. funny. And he was just walking around and waiting for people to notice him. Yeah. Reminded me of Friends. When Joey puts all Chandler's clothes on. Uh, Damien leaving his dress hanging about. Oh yeah, that's right. That's when Patrick got annoyed because Damien's oh, yes. dress was crumpled up on the table. Yes, that's He's right. He's like, "Do you want to hang that up?" Yeah. 
Oh yes, oh gosh, look at the time. We can't ever run today. No, I've got to do it. I'm just gonna um, we'll carry on chatting. We're sitting here chatting away. So today I thought I'd show you, this has been a couple of weeks, we've got a, new, a few new products here in the same room. So I thought I'd show you um, those. Suzanne's saying it's a great addition. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah, she does try, I don't, let's see what you mean, Jen. She tries so hard to be perfect that she's not, um, I, yeah. can't see the, I can't see the things at all now. You'll have to. I'll tell you. Okay. You need to do the demo. Right, I'm going to do some demo. I'm going to show you some new products that we've got here in the same. Because as you know, we have um, added some. Not we haven't added a lot of things actually to the the Abadashri, but we've spread out. Um, so I put a few new products in. Um, the first one is a little needle threader. So if you have trouble threading your needles and you've tried using the little wire ones, we've got some nice wire mm -hmm. ones. There. Oh no, the cat, it's like here. Yeah, there we go. There you go. There. Well, don't put your bruised finger in shot. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's like there. There, it's right there. Okay, so this is a needle threader. So you may have tried the needle threaders with the wire ends uh, and the lights, which are great, but sometimes the wire after a while becomes a bit bent and difficult. So this one has a little spike that goes through the end. Um, so I'm going to just show you how it works. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do this in shot. It's quite small. I don't know. I'll try and. You I'll try. try and, Shall I do it and you try and? Yeah, I'll try and. Your tea's right in the way. Actually, okay. I'm just going to move it. <laughs> not that one. So okay. What you do? It's got like it's like a sort of solid spike, so it's a little bit easier. She says, try and do this on camera to put through the needle, and then you put your thread. Charlie says I've suggested a new program to BBC Four called Claire Tyler's The Joy of Sewing. The Joy of Sewing. You put your thread over the end, there we go, over the end, and then you just pull back. Oh, she says pull back, but I held onto the thread too tight there. <laughs> I can't believe you're threading happens. a needle threading live. Threading a needle on. live without, I don't need to put my glasses on to thread a needle, even with a needle threader. There we go. So put your thread over the end and then pull back. There we go. So it's a little bit, I find it's, it's nice actually, it's nice to hold, a bit more ergonomic to hold, um, and this is solid, so it's not going to bend like the little bits of wire. It's also got a little, obviously that's a cover that covers over that bit, so it keeps it safe. And on the back there is a thread cutter, so you can actually use that to cut your thread. So a little blade just in there to cut your thread. They like their little thread cutters, yeah, so don't they? Prim? Yeah, they do. So it's um, it's quite a useful little gadget. I wasn't over, over sure because I, I'm not... I'm not keen on sort of little pink birds particularly, mm. but um, I thought that was such a good you'd find it needle threader. You'd box. find it, and it's also got a hole in the back there, so you could put a cord on it. Yeah, yeah, Janet, that's fine to pick up stuff next week. No yep. problem. Just let me know when you're coming. Is there a pick up from here option to, to take postage off? No, there isn't. So, um, no, just email me. Yeah. Not yet. I haven't got a click and collect uh, option on my website yet. So if you want to do that and you're under £35, just email me your order yeah. and we'll sort it out. So so that's my first little new product uh, on the website, this uh, nice, easy to use needle threader. The second... I'm just going to move that needle out of the way. Janet, I'm on the course. Oh, yeah, no, that's fine, Janet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, oops, there we go. So that's... Um, if you haven't seen those before, they're on the needle twisters. You just put they're magnetic, so you put your needles in. It's like a lipstick. So oh, somebody on Instagram literally just said, I like the needle holder. Do you have them? Yes, we yes. do. Yes. They're, <laughs> they're called, called a needle called twister. Needle twisters, needle twisters. <laughs> because they're magnetic, they don't, don't fall out. They don't fall out. So you don't normally put them in with the thread on them. There we go. We do have those. They're made by Prim, so they're really good quality products. So that's the little um, needle threader. Uh, the second one I've got is this um, roll, it's called a roll and press. This is a roll and press. Now when we've done, um, I've used a roller in the past, but I normally use a wallpaper roller, which is um, uh, quite a bit bigger and it's flat. This has got a sort of um, curved edge. So you use it for pressing open your seams you, um, as an alternative to finger pressing. So if you just want to do a quick bit of pressing, um, it's uh, a help, helpful for that. So if you're doing cotton, you just want to press it open, you can press it. But it's particularly good for things like um, leather or vinyl. 
um, when you're you can't use too much heat so you can use this to press open your seams that's why I normally use a wallpaper roller this is an alternative for that the wallpaper roller as I said is flat whereas this is curved so you won't get an impression on the right side also um, good for I think patchwork and quilters use this a lot when, when you're folding back a um, little quarter inch seams so that's the, the um, one of the new tools we've got a roll and press if, if that you might think that might be useful to you um, the second one, third one, sorry. These are made by Clover, so you know they're really good quality. Um, this is called a point-to-point -point turner. Um, so it can be, it's got a couple of different uses, this one. It's got a nice ergonomic feel to it. The pointed end can be used to push out corners, such as collars uh, and um, facings and things like that. Uh, and this end can be used to push out curved corners. But it's also, this end here is um, for marking your fabric. It's, you may have heard it as a, um, uh, a Hera, uh, is it Hera, H-E-R, a Hera tool? Uh, and it's used for marking your fabric. So what it, what it can do is mark your fabric. You just press down and it marks your fabric by, by um, compressing the fibers in the fabric. So you, you don't want to use a, a chalk or um, a colored pen you can just use this to mark your fabric uh, and it will be fine for stitching on. Difficult to show on camera. But it is, yes, there is it has marked there. your line. <laughs> it's also, um, you can also use it for, it's like scoring your fabric. So you can use it against a ruler to score your fabric. So you could mark a one centimeter line and then you can turn up. So it's quite a useful Genius. little tool and also you can then use that end to press to finger press that as well so it's a multi-use it's very a patchwork people have been using these for years so i've just been i've found it useful for several sewing um things as well again like i said it's made by clover so it's a nice nice um, ergonomic tool um and then the last one i've got to show you is this um what's it called Hold It Precision Stiletto, which the ladies who did the half slip workshop will um, recognise. I showed you this one. Sometimes when you're sewing something like um, lace or very small hems or seams, when you're at the machine, I don't know if you can see the machine from there. When you're at the machine, you're trying to hold the fabric and in place with your fingers and you can't get your finger close to the foot. So this curved stiletto holds the fabric flat right under the foot as you're going forward. Also very good when you're doing very small hems. So if you've got a very small hem and you just need, you're taking your last pin out, but you still need to get the very end bit held in place as you're getting to the end there. You just can hold that and it'll go right close under the foot. So that's one end of it, which is very useful. The other end is silicon. So when you're pressing, you know when you're at the ironing board and you're pressing a little narrow hem and you've got the iron coming towards you and you burn your fingers. Every time. Every time. So this, Or in our case, melt your nails. Melt your nails, yeah. <laughs> this is an alternative to your finger. And I have got silicon finger shields, but sometimes I find I can't get close enough with those. So this as your iron is coming along, well, I meant to find my iron. What is it called again? Which one, this Janet? One? Th that one is the, the uh, precision point stiletto. Precision stiletto. The white one was the point to point turner. Turner, yeah. So yeah, this one is particularly good. I love the silicon end of this when you're at the ironing board and you just want to hold that down as you bring the iron close and not burn your fingers. Very useful. Yeah, so this is a really nice You do one. sometimes find that you need like a third finger. You do. A third hand, third you know, hand. to come in and help you, so. I have got a tool that's called a third hand. I'll have to show you that one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I've got a oh, is that that clamp thing? Yeah. Oh, bird, yeah, you've shown me. Clamp. Yeah. There we go. So those are our four new tools that I wanted to show you this week. Um, I knew we'd have loads to chat about, but I don't want to run over too much because Amy's got a brilliant cocktail to show you. So there you go. So there's a few new, sorry I'm looking the wrong direction, Put it here. I'm looking straight at the empty, uh, empty uh, tripod <laughs> So a few new things to show you this week. Any questions, just send me a message on those ones. 
So Amy is going to come in now. I, it's Amy um, time. Amy time. It's Amy time. <laughs> Like Chico time. Yes, Chico time. time <laughs> More now. lovely gadgets, and now we know what they're for. Thank you, yeah, Claire. You you Waiting go. to see Amy's hair. Oh well. Here I come. Here she comes. I'll just put her back there. It's huh? funny because I would say that oh I don't have roots anymore, but actually you do. I do you because do. I now have more roots. Well, let me check that you're. Am I in? In? Do you go further left? Uh, no, you should be okay. Oh, actually. Okay. Um, I need to bring over my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Very elegantly. We're going over my trolley. Yeah, here I am. Hi, everybody. Lovely summary today. Yeah, I know I've worn this dress before, but I don't care. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so uh, Barbara said, can I reserve both of those gadgets and collect on Friday? Yes, you can. Absolutely, Barbara. Yes. Barbara's already got the little needle thread, haven't you? It was nice to use, wasn't it? It just come in when Barbara was here this week. Dress looks really great on. Thank you, Barbara. Thank you. This, this is a Mayfair dress. Mayfair dress Nina by Lee Nina Lee, which we made on a sew along. I love it actually. I've worn it out a couple of times. Goes really well with my cream denim jacket. Perfect. Yeah, yes. which I'm going to wear to a party tomorrow. My outfit. Party? A party. That's your second party. In my two weeks. second party in two weeks. I know. An outside party. Oh, Jenny's <laughs> looking lovely. Thank you. Suzanne would like them. Um, also, I'll oh, add it to the list. Good. Yes, so. What have we got to drink today then? Today we are having a white lady. Ah, oh, so this is a classic cocktail that you had sort of overlooked. Thank you, Suzanne. Um, it is a classic cocktail I'd overlooked. I forgot yeah. about it. Mm. And I do know about this cocktail. I just completely forgot about it. And when I was thinking I want to do a gin cocktail, um, uh, yeah, I suddenly thought, I don't know. A white lady. A white lady. Barbara's saying she loves that needle thread. Loves the needle thread. Okay. Oh, so I was saying about my hair. Yeah, I didn't. I've I've now gone balayage, which is dark on top, but it yes. means that my roots are blended, so I don't have a horrible hard line. It looks really pretty. Such a lovely colour. And I've gone a bit more natural. Yeah, less soft, yellow yeah. and white. It was going a bit yellow. <laughs> <laughs> it was nice to have a salon do it for me. How Jam long did it take though? How long? Four hours. Four hours. It took four hours to do my hair. Oh, um, Janet's, Janet's pizza's arrived. arrived. Pizza's arrived. Catch up on the cocktail later. Uh, thanks, Janet. Thank you, Janet. Enjoy your pizza. Yeah, I'm pizza I'm pizza yeah. So, white lady. You need, for a white lady, some gin, some Cointreau or triple sec, an orange liqueur. Uh, you need some sugar syrup. Oh, that lovely sugar syrup. Sugar syrup. You need uh, some freshly squeezed lemon juice. There's lots in this. There is. And you need some um, aquafaba oh, yes. or an egg white. white. Egg white. Uh, but we're using the vegan version, which is um, chickpea juice, which works in exactly the same way. Does that mean I've got to make more hummus this weekend? Yeah, sorry. Okay. You've got a drained <laughs> can of chickpeas in oh, there. <laughs> so, first of all, we're going to put the ingredients into the shaker. So it is, per person, one and a half shots. Um, one shot is 25 ml, so one and a half shots of gin per person. So I want three. This is a double shot for anybody oh, yeah, so Maggie worrying. Doesn't, Maggie doesn't get worried, but yeah. you've not got enough gin it's in a, Yeah, this is a double shot measure, don't worry. Definitely enough <laughs> gin going in. So one and a half of, oh, oh, okay. we'll, we'll get we'll that later. We'll get that later. Um, one shot of Cointreau per person. Nice. I always like things with Cointreau. Right? Yeah. It's kind of like a sort of reverse Cosmo. Or like a take on a Cosmo. Yeah. It? It's gin instead of vodka. And aquafaba instead of cranberry. cranberry. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like Maybe a Cosmo. Not Maybe not. Okay. Uh, one shot per person of lemon juice. Freshly squeezed, of course. Oh, that. oh. That was two, that two, two lemons? small lemons. Got me the exact right amount. Perfect. And then... Two shots, one shot per person of the aquafaba, or one egg white if you want to use egg white. So the egg white normally is what makes it sort of frothy. Oh, and it? the sugar. And the sugar as well. One shot per person of sugar. So it's quite easy, it's a lot of one shots basically, apart from the gin which gets a bit of an extra. Uh, yes, it makes it frothy. Mm. Oh look, we need to get some more sugar I syrup. I do need some more sugar syrup. Just about I now. couldn't get any this morning, and look, I've got the perfect amount. Perfect. 
Okay, so it's a lot of white, hence the name White Lady. Mm -hmm. Must order some more. You can get the Gom sugar syrup from Amazon. I couldn't get it in Tesco's earlier. They only had vanilla flavour. Sorry. So we're going to dry shake. Sorry, I was going to say dry shake first, no ice. Just give it a good hard dry shake. I love the way that's called a dry shake. A dry shake. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a wet shake when ice goes in. Yeah. <laughs> it's good for learning. Technical term. Yeah, technical term. So you're going to do it until it all looks Ooh, a bit. Yeah. yeah, it all Probably. sort of looks frothy inside. Yeah. Then you're going to open up your shaker and pop some ice in. And we're going to shake again. A gentle shake. So you don't want to slosh your ice in because you don't want to get rid of all that air you've just created. So just a gentle shake with the ice to get it cool down. There we go. And then we're going to double strain because we've got fresh lemon juice so you'll have little bits. Uh -huh. So you've got a strainer and your sieve. Okay, so do it split first because you'll likely have a lot of froth to come out the end. Oh, so the that. froth with this, I've done this before, with the spring you push that down and that will hold the froth and let you control it coming out so that it doesn't all rush out into one person's glass and the other person doesn't get any. <laughs> That's so pretty. Yeah. You should get a nice little frothy top. And then we're just going to garnish with a lemon twist. Oh, Charlie says he didn't like the non alcoholic ones in today, didn't you? Uh, they've all been alcoholic recently, yeah, Charlie. Yeah, it's only the first few weeks of the year. Yeah. You've been doing alcohol every week since, Charlie. Yeah, you'll have to look back. <laughs> so, get a nice bit of lemon peel. Oh, you found the peel? I, this is my new peeler. Oh. And then you can get your mini pinking shears back out. We know you all went to Amazon and bought those off the last yeah. week. You can get yourself a thin strip pinked off, pinking sheared off. <laughs> so pretty. So pretty. Making a nice I'm mess making on my a table. complete mess. Making a mess on my nice sewing table. I know, I'll wipe it up in a minute. <laughs> They're white pink. They are. You should see the floor <laughs> when she's finished. Especially after a couture jacket day. And then give it a little twist. Twist it over the drink because any zest that comes off, you want that to go in your drink. Give it a real big long twist and drop it in. Oh, that's really pretty. Yeah. Okay. Yours isn't going to go as well as me. <laughs> Pressure of a lemon twist. There we go. Ah, oh, thank you. A white lady. You could, if you wanted, add some Angostura bitters. I'm actually not going to, because I. Um, but you could do like I did before, little drops of Angostura, because we've got the twist. I'm not going to do that. Nice. So cheers, everybody. Cheers. Happy cheers. bank holiday weekend. Yeah, happy bank holiday. Oh, that's so nice. You can't taste the gin. I know. <laughs> oh dear. Uh oh. Mm. Oh, thanks, Joe. That's a good one. Everyone should have those yeah, ingredients they by should now. Do, yeah. If you've been following all the cocktails, <laughs> you will have some gin, some Cointreau. Oh, Suzanne's put the soul on. Thank you, Suzanne. Well, I was off to make hers. That's very drinkable. That's a bit, me. A bit concerning how drinkable that is. Oh, Barbara just finished the buttonholes on her fridge. Well done. Yay, Barbara. Do you, just, do you deserve a drink now, Barbara? Cheers. Oh, yeah, we're going to have a lovely sunny weekend. Oh, sunny weekend. Yeah, with might our white ladies. And, yeah, might get out in the garden, drink some more white ladies. Yeah, I think we should. We're Sunday, we'll have a garden party on Sunday. Yeah, we? Nan, we'll make you a white lady on Sunday. Mm. <laughs> well done, Barbara. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers, Carolyn. Have a great weekend, everybody. Yeah, Enjoy the sunshine. Weekend. It's going to be lovely, especially on Sunday, isn't it? Yeah.
I've got to go to Bank Holiday, go to Brighton on Bank Holiday Monday. Is that the old vaccination? My vaccine, I have to go to Brighton. It's probably oh. the worst possible day ever to go to Brighton yes. on a Bank probably Holiday. Got, that's probably why we've got an appointment so early. Yeah. Oh, Maggie's off to get the gin out. Mm. Yeah. It's really nice, you can't taste the gin. Yeah, it just tastes you nice. can't. Well, it's the Cointreau and the lemon and the, and the lemon. sugar. Yeah, really yummy. lovely. I've mentioned before, if you don't have sugar syrup, you can make it. That would be a two to one, two parts sugar, one part water. So slightly sweeter sugar syrup this week. Yeah, so have a lovely weekend. Suzanne, we'll see, see you, you next weekend. See you in the studio, weekend. Suzanne. Yeah, next Saturday, we'll see Bye you. Bye, everybody. Oh, thank you, Susan. Thank you, Claire. Have a lovely weekend. Thank you so much for joining us at our later time. Uh, we'll be back in two weeks with more chat, and I'll do a, a sewing demo and more cocktails from Amy. More sewing beach has quarter finals next week, isn't it? Oh, it is. The time we see you again, it will be the semi finals. Yeah, just in time for the final. Yeah, just time for the final. Well, thank you, Jan. Have a lovely bank holiday. Thanks, Jilly. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Oh, thank you so much for joining us, everybody. Have a lovely weekend, and we'll see you very soon. Bye. Bye.